how much fun and do you dream of playing games like this as a kid? Yeah, this is, uh, this is great. It's going to be a lot of fun. You know, awesome opportunity for our program, for our team. Uh, we're all excited. Spencer, as, as a competitor, you know, when you get to face these top five teams, you like those challenges? You like those you know, opportunities that are in front of you? That's why you play the game. You know, it's, it's you know, two, two top five teams. You can't really ask for much more than that. Um, it's going to be... It's going to be a ton of fun. It's going to be exciting. You know, I know the, the atmosphere is going to be electric. So, um, you know, I'm sure it's a game we'll remember for a while. When, when you're coming down the tunnel and you know it's top five game and your your heart's pounding and then you come out to the atmosphere, what's, what's, what are the emotions like for you, the energy for you? Yeah, you know, it's, it's usually pretty high, especially, you know, during the swarm. You know, you can really start to hear the crowd, you know, once we start to turn the corner. And um, by the time you get out there, yeah, it's it's electric. It's it's kind of hard to describe. You know, it's one of those things you got to experience. Have you, have you seen this offense continue to take those steps you've been talking about the past couple of weeks? Yeah, I think we're growing. Um, you know, we're working hard every day and, you know, continuing to improve. And, um, yeah, you know, the biggest thing we, we've been saying since the beginning is that it's, it's, a, it's a long process. We've got to keep working hard at practice, and that's what we're doing, and I think the results are showing. What do you see from this Penn State defense? Yeah, you know, they play hard. They play physical. they got a lot of really good athletes. Um, you know, it's 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 is a type of deal where you know we we've, we've played this coordinator you know more than a few times, so um, a lot of it's going to get down to execution on on Saturday. You know, they know what we're going to do. We're gonna, we know what they're going to do, um, and that's 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 fun. You know, that's good. It's it's kind of like let the best man win, uh, but you know we're we're fired up. You've expanded <clears throat> your uh, group of weapons. You got a lot of guys that you can go to now. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of um, a lot of receivers playing really well right now, working hard. Um, you know, tight ends, fullbacks, running backs, everyone. Uh, you know, and that, that just comes from, from the work we've put in as a group and as a unit, you know, dating back to January. But, um, yeah, you know, I think we're having a good week. We're excited. Uh, guys are working hard, and, and that's, a, that's, a good, that's a good thing. Talking availability, and that's just a huge thing I've been trying to focus on is just trying to do my best to stay healthy and be able to uh, produce, some, um, produce some production, I guess. So or have some production on the field. So here we go. There we go. Is it, my bad. is it easy to make this week like every other week? Um, with the we're pretty well grounded as a team, and it's always the main focus just to treat every week as in uh, it's just one week at a time. So every opponent's a very good team that's coming in to Iowa City this week, and we're just looking for the opportunity to be able to play a team like Penn State. It's the best team you've seen out there. We've seen a lot of good teams. Um, I'd, I'd say they're up there. Yeah, they're definitely uh, one of the more well-rounded teams we are going to go up against. So. What is it that they do well? Uh, so they run the ball well, and they also pass well on offense. So they're just very well-rounded. They're pretty balanced in their whole offensive scheme. So um, their offensive line is pretty big, and they move well. So. Uh, the number one focus is just to stop the run and force them into uh, third and long situations. How much of a threat is Clifford to run, and what does that do for you from a discipline perspective? Uh, Clifford's a really good athlete, so uh, we just got to focus up front on just uh, being able to get off blocks, have separation, and force him to throw. Um, if we are able to take away the run, um, we like our odds uh, for the rest of the game. So. Is he a, more of a scrambler, or is he more of a runner that you see that's just that will take off when he wants? To? I, I'd say he's more of a runner that'll take off when he wants to. When uh, he does a good job at exposing the gaps, so when we uh, have an error on defense, he will definitely try to take advantage of those errors. So, so if you're supposed to be an A gap and you end up in B gap and there's a hole there, he's going to take exactly. seven yards. And exactly. Yeah. So. Uh, he does a very good job at seeing the holes that need to be hit, and he does a good job stepping up and running. So, How much fun is it to play in a game of this magnitude? Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, we're, we're pretty excited, but uh, like I said, we're just trying to treat it like every other week. Um, every team we play is, uh, is a good team, and we're just trying to stay focused and um, not let any of the spotlight distract us. So, That hasn't been hard for you guys, has it? Uh, I don't think so. It's uh, we're a pretty disciplined team, and this is how we go about our business every week. So um, nothing really changes for us, and we're just uh, we're really excited to have the opportunity. So.
Do you think it's crazy when you look back at how many turnovers you guys have forced? I mean, is it just is it mind-boggling for you, or do you, do you expect that? Uh, the way we practice, we definitely expect uh, we expect the results we're producing. So. Um, I, I don't think it's very shocking to us as individuals, but I know we are just trying to focus on Penn State and continue to produce those turnovers. So, right on the bus ride, so it, was, it was cool. And I was like, "You go, man!" Like that. Is <laughs> What's it like going up against the second year every day in practice? I mean, it's a big test. I mean, we have two minute on on Tuesdays. We just had that a little bit ago, and then we have third down periods against them on Wednesdays. So. Um, it's a great testament to, you know, you kind of game plan for Penn State, but then you also see the looks that you saw all of spring ball, all of fall camp, and it, it's kind of fun to get back to that competition, and that's kind of the joke the rest of the day, if they got the best of us that day or if we got the best of them. Who got the best today? We we ended up kicking a field goal today in two minutes, which is what we needed. Um, they, they blocked it, actually. They tipped it. But uh, we got down the field all right, so it was, it was kind of back and forth. It was back and forth. <laughs> Because Jacobs, who guards you? You say Jacobs? Yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, you've seen from our defense the past couple of weeks how successful they've been. There's, there's a lot of matchups out there. I, I go against Jack Kerner, uh, you know, all the linebackers, Justin, Jack Campbell, um, Seth, you know, and then the safeties, of course. I see a lot of them out there, so. It's got to make you better. Absolutely, it does. Absolutely. I hope I'm making them better, but maybe not. Maybe they just think. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it makes us better for sure, going against their defense every day. There's been some, some tight ends in, in the state's previous matchups that have been able to get some production. Is that something that you guys have noticed in the breakdown this week that, you know, there may be some opportunities for, for you and uh, just the tight end room in general? Yeah, um, of course, we see other people's film. They've played five games this year, and um, I'm, I'm two or three games through the through the tape so far, and I'll, I'll see the next two here today or tomorrow. And um, yeah, of course, we're trying to find any opportunity and every every little window that we can to make big plays and things like that, and find opportunities for us. And Sam uh, Wagner's talking about the coaches telling you guys, you know, you can't get caught up in the hype of this week. You still have to walk around campus. You still got to go to class. People yep. are going to say things. How how do you avoid getting caught up in all that? I think it's important to focus on the opportunity that we have and the fact that we've been the ones working since January for this big opportunity and we've earned it at the end of the day. You know, the people in this building, not not the not the campus, not, you know, not our families and things like that, but you know, we were the, we the coaching staff, the people in this building, we've earned this opportunity and I think it's important to, to understand that we deserve this, and we're going to try our very best to go out there and win on Saturday. Is this something as a kid you always dream of playing in games like this? Yeah, of course. You always want to play in big games. Yeah. And you know, like I said, you, you earn it if you're, if you're doing well and you attract a lot of attention from other people. And, yeah, it's really exciting. And, <laughs> I mean, Kinnick's going to be bumping on Saturday. That, that's all I can say. Your work is paying off, and you're seeing it on the field each and every game. Oh, it's, it's a lot. Of, it's giving us. It's giving me a lot of confidence. I think we understand what we need to do. I think we're all a, we're an experienced group now, uh, especially with a young D line. I think we have, way they have way more experience. We're going on what game six? Game six, right? Yeah, we're going on game six. <laughs> so I think we have enough experience. I think we all understand what needs to be done throughout each and every week. So I think we're I think we're doing pretty good. Simulating a guy like Jahan Dotson and then just yeah, obviously the first five weeks. Have you guys? Faced anybody that's a, you know kind of like him? You've been able to compare him at all, like, like in practice or yeah, like? in practice or in, or in games. I mean, is there yeah. actually, if y'all guys were to see uh, come to practice today, we had some pretty good catches from our receipt from our scout team receivers today. Uh, Desmond Hudson, uh, Deontay Vines, they were making really really huge plays in practice today, just getting us prepared for the type of receivers that we're going to be facing on Saturday. They're doing a really good job. And then a guy like Clifford who can just extend plays. You know, obviously that means you guys are covered for longer periods mm -hmm. of time. How do you kind of simulate getting ready for, for a guy like him, and, and what do, what do you see out of him as well? Uh, preparing for him, we just make it well with our with our quarterback. We're just making sure he escape he he's escaping the pocket, and we just and Coach Parker just preaching, staying on top of our receivers. Uh, we kind of extend the play for probably like five five six seconds each and every each, each and every time. So just making sure that we're on top of our receivers and knowing that they can cut back and get up the field at any point in time, and just staying staying on top of them is something that we've been trying to practice prepare for in practice. Uh, and then a quarterback like him, you know, that's somebody, he, he's an experienced quarterback. He's going to be calm in the pocket. He's not probably going to let the environment get to him as much as other quarterbacks might, especially with, uh, you know, as loud as the stadium as Kinnick. I think he's not going to get rattled as much as other quarter, quarterbacks might get rattled. So I think he's, we're going to uh, be in for a good, good, good game. Yeah.
I'm sure you've been asked this already, but just take us back through the interception that you had, what you saw uh, on that play, and what did it feel like? To oh, man, all right, bet. So it's cover three. Uh, you know, I kind of get out my back pedal a little bit early. I'm reading the quarterback. I see it's I see one post coming across my face, and I see him look it off. And so I'm so then they they ran the play like that before. So I'm like, it got to be another post coming. So I just broke on it, broke on the area, seen the ball, seen him throw the ball. I was like, oh, that's mine. So <laughs> I should probably should have stayed on my feet, but I was so happy. I just dove for it, caught it, just secured it, and just you know celebrated. It was fun. What allows this defense to get so many turnovers? Uh, I think uh, film study, just making sure that we're uh, in the right spot at all times. I think we watch film pretty much every single day with each other. Uh, we understand where we need to be on each each and every given play, making sure we're on top of our keys. I think that's what allows us to be such a turnover-heavy defense. It seem crazy that you've had that many, that you've turned, already have that many turnovers? Uh, honestly, no. I, I don't, I, it honestly isn't surprising because, like I said, uh, we preach really being on top of our keys, being being in the right spot at all times. So uh, once once quarterbacks make the mistake, uh, we're we're pretty much right there to make the play, right there to uh, pick on was pick up what's going on. So I don't think it's, it's honestly not surprising. Yeah. Huh. So that's your way of showing how much you love the game. No, that, that's just, that's who I am. Mm -hmm. You spoke to being prepared and taking advantage of opportunities. What about that play at the end of half? Was it specifically where your number was called? And just kind of walk us through that play where you were able to get the interception. Uh, you know, we got our uh, victory formation. You know, last uh, you know last second at, at the end of the half or end of the game situation. And you know, I just I took advantage of my opportunity while I was out there. I seen the ball, so I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go get it before someone else do this. It might be my only chance of getting out there, so I took advantage of it. How did it feel when you got it? Uh, felt great, but you know, there's many more to come, obviously. Uh, but you know, just continue to work, continue to be prepared. What was your teammates' reaction to your pick? Uh, you know, everyone's always happy for everyone else's success, especially the first career pick. But uh, you know, it's it's really uh, thankful for my guys. You know, great execution on their part. Uh, if they weren't back there, then I feel like I probably couldn't have got that pick. Or even with the D lineman getting pressure on Tua, making him scramble out the pocket, make, forcing a bad throw, I feel like I wouldn't have got it. Have you always been all in on the special teams since they first asked you to do it? Yeah, all you know, no matter where you are, if the coach asks you to, get, uh, if they put you somewhere on the field, just just go 110 percent because even if it might not be that position, but they they'll find a way to put you on that field no matter what you do. It's interesting. A lot of guys who make their name in special teams suddenly you find them playing every down. Um, so you figure that's a way to bigger and better things, maybe by showing your special teams ability. Yeah, special teams is 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 a way of getting on the field, offense or defense. Uh, you know, it all starts on special teams. You know, you're not always going to get that sh that first shot on defense or offense right away. So you know, getting notice is is going to be on special teams or even on scout team in practice. Is there talk in, in in your room about who gets who can get to the guy first? Maybe you prepare for a game or after a game, you tell well, I got I beat you down there and made that tackle. Just kidding each other. No, it's really just uh, you know we worried about doing our job on the field. Mm -hmm. You know, just great execution and no matter who makes the play, you know we're always happy for everyone else's success. But you know, it's really just everyone doing their part and then everything will fall into place from there. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about Juice Scruggs. Uh, grew up with him, longtime friend. Uh, you know, went to high, same high school together. Uh, that's brother for life. Uh, it'll be a great game. I can't wait to play against him. You know, played against him last year and the years before, but it'll be a great game. The experiences you two shared with the rest of your teammates, I mean, that's got to be something you carry around for the rest of your life, huh? Oh, yeah. That'll, our bond is unbreakable. Everything that we've been through together and that we've cherished together, that, that'll never be unbreakable. Well, um, what did you like most in high school? I mean, I, I saw in the state championship game you had a touchdown and I mean, you, you had a lot of yards and catches and so forth. Did, did you see yourself as a defensive back even back then? Uh, I see myself as, you know, any, I could play any position anywhere that any coach wants to put me at. You know, it's really not whether what you want to do is, is what's going to help the team out. It, it had been a long gap between players from Erie here, but that connection still ran 20 years deep. How attuned to, uh, to that were you when you were being recruited? Uh, you know, I really wasn't worried about uh, too much recruiting. I was just worried about doing doing my job as a football player, continue to work, and you know, 
colleges will come. They will, they will come. And just continue to do, do my job. But you knew you knew Joe Von Johnson before you ever came to this place, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Uh, you know, like Dowling Valley each year. Uh, that was a, always a big one, and everyone got kind of. There's a little bit of hype surrounding that, so you just kind of try to block out the noise. But I mean, this is like a whole different level uh, nationally, and all that stuff. So you really got to zone in on and focus in on what you need to do and do your job uh, and block out that noise this week. So, Sean Clifford, uh, I think 20th in the national in passing yards. You know, what's it going to take to be able to kind of rattle him? Uh, I mean, outside of the crowd, obviously, home advantage. So. Yeah, uh, he's an experienced guy that's won a lot of football games for them. Uh, he's won inside Kinnick Stadium before. Uh, so I uh, got a lot of respect for him, and, and we're going to need to, you know, see who we're rushing and be able to contain him. Uh, as a D-line, so. Simulating a guy like him that just kind of knows how to extend plays, you know, how do you guys do that? You know, throughout the yeah, uh, Joe Labus has been doing a great job of that as our scout team quarterback this week. He does a great job every week uh, uh, just trying to make plays and, and give us a good look, so he, he nothing's changed this week. So. About having a back end, you know, the secondary, how they played. Got to make your life easier knowing you got five guys back there that are just ball hawks right now for the first yeah. five weeks. Yeah, definitely. They, they make a lot of plays, and we want to help them out as much as we can as a D-line by putting pressure on the quarterback and, and making his life uncomfortable. So Turnover margin, at least on Saturday before the Oregon game. Looking back, is it almost incredible for you all looking at just seeing how many turnovers you're forcing and how consistent that has been? Yeah, I mean, it's nice, uh, and we want to continue that trend. Uh, just keep forcing turnovers each game because that's a big advantage for us, we think. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, we, we definitely emphasize that in the preseason, uh, trying to get takeaways and stuff. Uh, and it's paying off, and we're going to continue to make that happen. So. Did you guys see anything that Auburn or, or Wisconsin exposed on their, their line, you know, what you're watching Dylan, you know, those two games? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're not going to talk about that. Uh, it's kind of more close to our chest. But, uh, yeah, we, we're just watching film, trying to – get any tenants as we can uh, and and yeah <laughs>